Hello, this is Caleb and Tina from Barkley Outdoor Adventures. We just completed the West Virginia Waterfall Trail. Our last one was the Devil's Sawmill, and we got that the other day. So we decided we'd do a little question and answer about the West Virginia Waterfalls Trail. So we're gonna try and answer some of the questions that we thought was interesting about this experience. Okay, first question. What was your favorite experience on the West Virginia Waterfall Trail? I personally just like traveling around the whole state. If you do all 43, you're in the northern panhandle, you're, you're down in the southern part of the state. You spend a lot of time in the New River Gorge area and that for me was one of the best things about it. I think so too, but I also think, I really think I like doing um, Falls of the Cheap with that one, that 10 mile hike, and then um, Seneca Waterfall is really what I really liked. Okay, question number two. What were your top five waterfalls? Definitely Cathedral, I thought. And then the Kanawha. Okay, two. That's two. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did like Seneca. I did like um, the Falls of the Cheat. Okay, that's four. Where's the fifth one? I'm trying to think back to all of them. There's 43. Um, that one that we was traveling with at Pendleton. Yeah, when we traveled yeah, yeah. into and it, we, we just we, seen yeah, it. We just happened to see yeah. it and got it. I really so like that. Beautiful. I really like the Pendleton Falls too. Okay, what was your favorites? My five would be Cathedral, and then uh, Hills Creek Falls. That's the only falls in uh, Poconos County, and that's mm -hmm. close by. But it's always been my favorite. And then the experience we walked to the High Falls of the Cheat. So the experience of walking four miles in, four miles out, that was a fun experience. And then we hiked into Seneca Falls and that was mm -hmm. a five mile trip in and out. Really enjoyed that experience. And then I'd say Blackwater Falls. I mean, Blackwater Falls is just, I think, when you think of waterfalls in West Virginia, Blackwater Falls is like the top. So I yeah. really liked that one. I've seen Blackwater Falls a lot. <laughs> Question number three, what were your least favorite waterfalls? Loop Mont. Without a doubt, <laughs> Loop Mont Falls was the most yeah. disappointing falls that we went to. Uh, we hiked the Greenbrier River Trail up to it, mm -hmm. and it, it was just a small falls, and it was like, and it was one of the first ones that we did, yeah. too, because it's close to where we live, mm -hmm. and it was like, we hiked, I think we hiked two and a half miles in, two and a half miles out, Something yeah. like that. It wasn't a great, great, crazy walk, but it was like... The walk was better than the falls. <laughs> it, it was like there's falls right off the road that aren't on the trail that is better than Luke Mont. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, Big Branch Falls on your way into Sandstone Falls. Mm -hmm. You had Sandstone Falls there, which is a beautiful waterfall. Mm -hmm. And then you had Brook Falls, which you park at Brook Brook Falls uh, yeah. to go up to Big Branch, and then when you walk up to Big Branch, it's like, yeah, yeah, it wasn't that impressive. Brook falls is not even on the list. And then <laughs> uh, pro probably yeah. the falls that were in the Northern Panhandle, mm -hmm. uh, Tucker Falls. You, mm -hmm. you walk a ways to get to it, and then you're like, this is what we walked for. And then uh, what was that one that's in Bethany College? Oh, but it's like um, the college yeah. was more impressive than the falls once you went to Or the couple in Babcock. I'm sorry, but Baby Dog's favorite waterfall was not that yeah, impressive. Yeah, Sugar Run. Yeah, sugar no. Run. But those like, we walked crazy. five miles back and this just to see this. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, but, but those, Luke Mont, definitely the top of the list for me would be my least favorite falls. Yeah. Question number four. What was the hardest part of completing this challenge? I thought some of the falls was hard to find. find. Uh, the most frustrated we was was at Babcock because mm -hmm. we just could not find the falls. And once we found them and seen where they was, it was like, I can't believe we couldn't find them. But with the app and everything, it was hard to tell where it was. We actually had to go on the internet and watch a YouTube video of somebody that had actually been there and done a video of it. Who also has the same to, trouble as we To be able to find just... it. But then other YouTubers that we watched their videos, they went and tried to find them. Mm -hmm. 
and had the same problem finding them that we did. And then another hard part I was, I thought was, was that some of the waterfalls didn't have the blue sign. Mm -hmm. And you would be in the area where you thought that the waterfall should be, but because you didn't see the blue sign, you was always wondering, am I really here? Mm -hmm. uh, so that to me was the hardest part. And then uh, on the flip side of that, one of the most rewarding things about this experience is actually getting to the, the blue, blue sign because <laughs> it's like I found a treasure there. Yeah. Like when we went into Seneca Creek Falls, yeah. I had gotten the idea that, that it seemed like the National Forest, whenever you was on National Forest land, uh, you wouldn't see a blue sign. So I already told Tina, I said, we'll walk in here, but we have to find the falls because there's no sign. Mm -hmm. But we actually got to the falls and there was a sign, Seneca Creek Falls. So uh, one of the hardest parts is trying to find them but also with that, one of the most rewarding things is it's when, you, when you actually sign. find the sign. It's like, we know we but made it. But with like in Seneca Falls, they had that sign on the other side of where the waterfall was coming down. If they would have put it, people would have realized, hey, this is the, you have to cross over to actually get that blue sign. Well, but you would have had to cross over to see Seneca Creek See Falls. the whole thing, yeah. yeah. But when it's cold but, water in the middle of November well, makes we, it a little bit harder too. But that, that, yeah, that was our choice to be there at that time. But it, yeah. we were thankful that we found that. But some of them, some of them were hard to find, and that was they to me the, signage. to me the hardest part. And I more thought markers. I thought the app, of course, some places that you was at, you didn't have the cell phone signal, so the app mm -hmm. didn't help you a lot. But we got on the internet and done some extra research, and the hard ones to find, we actually went back. And got them, and we're mm -hmm. actually to them. Yeah. Okay, question number five. What do you wish could be done differently about the whole experience? To me, the, the signs. The signs. They need the more signs. signs. If, if you could find a way, I'm sure there's a reason why there's not signs at every place. I was under the impression it was everywhere that a waterfall was on National Forest. There just wouldn't be a sign. But if you could find a way to put a sign, a blue sign, at every waterfall that's an actual waterfall, uh, or a sign that's po pointing saying this way to the waterfalls. <laughs> well, uh, but to actually, once you got yeah, there, to be able was to not... get, get to it uh, would be something I would, I'd like to see changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, question number six. If you um, did this again, what would you do differently about the whole thing? Anything you would change? Um. Planning probably. Well, planning definitely. We did plan a lot. A uh, lot we, but... we we tried to do research to where things were and what things were, uh, but there were sometimes that we drove past a waterfall that we could have got right there, and we had to turn around or go back or make another trip. Mm -hmm. So just planning it out and lining it out to make sure that you hit everything uh, that you can hit and go. Uh, I, I think if we actually done it again, we could do it a whole lot faster because we actually know where the waterfalls are and know how to get to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I say, try and do your planning, try and do your research. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we did it over again, um, what I would do different is make sure you know where everything's at and map it out better. Because uh, I think it's possible to do it a whole lot quicker than what we did it if we actually knew where everything was. But, but also, part, of, part of the fun of it too is, was the finding. Yeah, you know? the finding, but also don't plan too much where it becomes a drudgery. That you want to still have Yeah, fun. you get burnt out. You, you get, get burnt out, out and you want to be able to do it, but you're doing this to see the state, to see the waterfalls, to find something, but also do it where you're having fun. That yeah. it doesn't and, and then another thing not to do differently, and we did, she mentioned that, we did, try to plan too much in one day mm -hmm. uh, because you see a certain amount of waterfalls in an area, but we underestimated the time it would take to actually hike into the waterfall. It's hike, bike out, and then to get to the waterfalls. Mm -hmm. So we were pushing to try and get a lot done and have a lot of long days sometimes. And if we'd actually realized where they was and what it took to get into them, we wouldn't have planned so many in one mm -hmm. day. It, you know, you, you, it's possible to do 10 in one day, 
But to do 10 in one day, you're pushing mm -hmm. to get that done. You got to think about who you have going with you. Yeah. Okay, each of you summarize your thoughts of the total West Virginia Waterfall Trail experience. Yeah, I really enjoyed the whole experience mm -hmm. because it just gives you an, a reason to go exploring and uh, to get around the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, Seneca Creek Falls, that was a place my granddad had fished for years. And he was always telling us how beautiful a creek that was but it was a place I'd never went to, I always wanted to go to and never went to. And this waterfall trail gave us an excuse to go in mm -hmm. there and see that country. And uh, that was wonderful. I had rode the train into the high falls of the Cheat as a teenager, uh, but then to realize there's a way to hike into it uh, and to actually have that experience of hiking into it and getting there, you know, on your own power uh, was wonderful. So, uh, and then just, just traveling around. We love to travel and having an excuse to travel. Mm -hmm. uh, thankful that they had this program for us to have an excuse to travel. I think just, I think the whole experience was nice, doing the different hiking, being out and about, um, and just being out through the whole state. You was going every which place. It wasn't just in one area. Okay, I think that's all the questions I have. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this? Just get out there and try and do this. It's a wonderful experience. And, uh, you know, they have prizes all along the way, you know. So if you can't do it all, do part of it because mm -hmm. it's all beautiful and you go through some beautiful places and it's well worth the effort you put into it. Yeah, I think just make sure you plan and then don't try to do too much at one time. Enjoy the experience, not just to get it done.